so today I am going to be taking cuttings on 20 different um, trays of um, succulents. So some of them, I'll show you. So I go through each one and some of them, like this one I just pulled out of there, has two um, heads on it. So what I do is if I see any that have more than one, like, like that one does, then I cut it off and I get an empty tray like this and fill it with dirt like this. <laughs> and then I get my scissors and I cut it off or rip it off like that. And sometimes there's little like that around it. I'll kind of clean it up or whatever. And then I stick it down in the dirt like that and then it grows a new one so I'm gonna take cuttings on all of these I would love to get maybe six trays um, like six of these out of all of these 20 I kind of just pull each one of these out so that was in that tray right there and if you can see there's one here and then there's one here. So I just kind of go like this with my scissors and cut it off like that. And then this other one, and cut it or rip it, I'll cut it like that. And then I take them that I cut off and stick it down in the dirt right here. And then in a few weeks, we'll have more <clears throat> and then the big guy I just put back in there like that that one's fine doesn't have any extra so I'll put it back in this one has three so I'm gonna take these two just kind of popped right off stick it in the dirt stick that in the dirt like that and then put the one just kind of cleaning it up a little bit back in here so I'm just kind of checking if they have more than one then I um, take from them and it kind of helps to, to just to give them a little bit more room in there um, because they get crowded you know and get cleaned up um, so my first step is when I when I get um, a new uh, load of succulents I go through and take cuttings off of them and then once I take cuttings off of them then I will plant them um, in in something like in uh, cement pots or in ceramics I'm gonna do ceramics next and then um, cement pots after that so just kind of going through all of these That one has two. I try to take like the littler one um, or the one that's like more on the side and not the main one. So out of one, two, like three, a little more than three rows, I got um, t um, a little more than two rows. So that's kind of cool. And then these ones, I do the same thing. Like if they have two in there I'll grab one of it I cut it all the way down like that and you can stick it in like that it's fine or if you wanted to go down farther you can go down farther too so it just stays in the dirt better I try to take cuttings on everything if I can before I plant it into something because that way we keep you know having more uh, late for later and so even if it's just something like super like tiny, like example, this, see how there's like three uh, stems in there. So I would probably even just cut the, the two on each side like that and that. And that way I can still use this for a 
combo, you know, to put in like a cement pot or a little ceramic. And I still have two that I just took off of that, you know, plant to make more. Um, you know, so we have more of that variety. So sometimes even if they're really little, I'll still cut them. It just depends on if I can grab them or not off the, si off the sides of them. Here's another one. Probably grab that. And yeah, that's probably good on that one. <laughs> but some of them are really little, but they grow. Just It just takes a little while, but they grow. And then these, there's a whole bunch of shoots on these. Like one, two, three, even that little, little one right there will work. We have like 10 trays over there, I can show you, that I took cuttings on that are pretty, I think, ready to be planted. So, that's even more reason why I, I should take cuttings off of these even if it like ends up being a little tiny plant because I have a whole nother batch that I need to plant before I would plant these. So these are gonna be a while down the road. I already got a full tray. They're really tiny right now, but they will grow in. Well, those ones are big, but the rest of them are pretty small. So I'll just go set it over here and then we'll My do another one. My son doesn't have football tonight. He usually has football. So after dinner, there's a whole bunch on that one. So after dinner, um, I seen that he didn't have football because it was, it rained yesterday, like for the first time in quite a while. And the football fields all got like extremely wet. And so they said um, practice has been canceled today because of the um, fields getting like overly watered and so um, I was like oh okay cool so I thought I would come out here and take some cuttings um, <clears throat> since I don't have to go to football tonight <laughs> so that's what I'm doing so kind of my after after dinner project and um, it happens to be like not sunny and not hot and really like pretty, pretty nice out. So it's a nice day to kind of be in the greenhouse and just kind of not a very hard job, you know, just kind of stand here and do this. So I'm kind of enjoying it. <laughs> So I'm just kind of trying to show you what I'm cutting. <laughs> and then they just drop to the ground or drop to the bench and then I just grab them and put them in the dirt. And just go like that, the bottom part, and stick it in. And then we just water them. Um, we water them in so after I get all the cuttings done, I'm looking right now for anything that has more than one on it and then cut cut it. Um, so how we um, take care of these or get them to grow is we water them in. So I'll water them right after I um, take the cuttings off of them. And then we try to keep them wet for like um, a couple weeks or until they root in. And then once they root in, we don't water them very much because they don't like a lot of water but for the first little bit why they're not rooted in we water them um every day um just to keep them wet so they can have a better chance of rooting in these ones that i'm doing they're like really fuzzy i don't know if you can tell i don't know what variety it is but they're really super fuzzy they cool there's that one and then there's that one These uh, string of pearls are kind of cool. I was going through, you could probably see my little pile right here. I was going through and like getting all the dead um, past blooms off of them all. Um, but if I just see like a group like that or whatever, 
I'll just kind of rip it like that. I hear some sort of a duck. <laughs> um, and then just kind of put it in in a little cell like that. Like that. And it will get more. So with string of pearls, I just kind of rip them off wherever and stick it all in the dirt. The orange ones are always fun to take cuttings from. They're one of my favorites. I love those. Those blue ones are really cool too. But any ones that have like, that's kind of the length, I guess, that, I'm, that I do. These go, these uh, propagate or get a root and get, grow really fast for us. Now, these are kind of all, all, oh, froggy. <laughs> He's got like, what is that? Oh, it's just that whatever the white stuff is in the potting soil. He's got that all over him. <laughs> Aww, he was under a tray. But anyway, okay. Okay, these are kind of cool. Um, they have like two in them. So they have like one here, one here, and then they're shooting up two babies too. One, two. So with that, I am going to cut off a whole thing. So a whole head like that. We clean it up if we want. Stick it in the dirt. Then I'm gonna clean up, you know, around it. Then I'm gonna take both both uh, heads too. Cause why not? <laughs> Might as well. Then we have two. So out of that one plant, we got three cuttings and we still have our plant. So that's kind of cool. <laughs> that has three in it. One, two, three. So I'll take, I don't know, these two maybe. have a whole nother tray so that's kind of cool Okay, I gotta show you this. I was taking cuttings off of these ones. I just started, and if you look, see right there, there's a baby frog. I was, there was like two right here. I was like, oh, look at all that, those extra ones I can cut off of that one. And so I went and put my scissors down there, and I seen him. That's what they do, I think they live in here. They live, and then they get scared, and they jump out, and then they like, just go underneath the thing but i just felt, wanted to show you that he was like right in that corner good thing i seen him because my scissors were going right in that same spot that he was at <laughs> here's a close-up i guess as we're as we're cutting these so you can kind of see them better probably should have done that before we started these ones i already took cuttings off of all these and then that's where I'm at right now I just got like one more row to fill with this I already did that one and that one I already did this one and then I was gonna try to get some more out of these that's a cactus so 
really cool. And then I'll probably grab all these babies and any that have more than one in them, I'll grab them. Same thing with all these. Oh, I actually no, I won't. They're gonna bloom. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna take those. I'll uh, put them in a in a planter. Oh, string of dolphins. This is really cool. It looks like a dolphin, like jumping out of the water. If you look closely, you can see like a dolphin jumping out of the water. I guess. Lots of cool ones to pick from for when we make cement pots. It's kind of fun. All right, back to cutting. <laughs> well, I decided to only get these three trays for cuttings because I'm going to um, be planting, I think it's like 73 cement pots um this week they're all ready we took them out of their molds and they are dry and looking good and so i got a lot of uh planting to do so um that's what they look like inside i probably should flip them all yeah i'll flip them anyway um so i don't want to be too aggressive on um taking too many cuttings from them because i want them I want to use them for those and then I got some other like ceramic pots and stuff that um, I'm gonna make too but I wanted to show you this this was our other batch of cuttings that I did last time I got 10 um, trays and they're grow grown in pretty good and I think let's see I think even that one that one that one, I don't know, like maybe six, the first six, not the other four, um, might even be, let's just see. Mm, they're getting close. They're getting close. It pulls out good, but it's not all rooted yet. So we're getting close on being able to use them maybe a few more, a few more weeks. Don't want to push it. Yeah, not quite, but we're getting there. So that's exciting. I'll be able to use those pretty soon. Um, this is all the cement pots I have left. <laughs> That's why I gotta make some because I'm almost out. <laughs> but anyway, I have these two that I'm gonna use when I make um, cement pots. These were from the time before, so I'll I'll use those all too. But yeah. Well, thanks for watching. Um, I hope you enjoyed watching me take a few cuttings. Um, it's kind of a relaxing afternoon or evening for me right now it's like probably almost eight o'clock and um it's just been really like chill and relaxing for me so i've been kind of in i've been enjoying just out here and uh kind of in the quiet in the silence and uh just kind of taking cuttings and just you know kind of going blank a little bit it's kind of um, therapeutic I guess in a way for me to just come out here and take cuttings and not um, not like be physically doing something you know so I really enjoyed it <laughs> so um, all right well thank you and um, I hope you have a great uh, day whatever you're doing and uh, until next time all right bye <laughs>